Joining me now, the filmmaker behind Stranger Fruit, Jason Pollock. Jason, good to have you here. Good evening to you. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm great. I am simply stunned by that report. Simply stunned. All right, let me Beautiful uh, job. You Fake can be news simply stunned. 101. Hold on. Hold on. I, I have a question for you, okay? Because yes. to me, what are you proposing legally? It does it make it makes no difference whether a robbery happened or a trade for pot happened or whether uh, you know a bank got robbed or he was home doing his homework. What matters is what happens in the street when he and Officer Wilson encounter each other. So why have you focused so heavily on what happened in the convenience store? That's a very interesting way to phrase this because I completely agree with you. And the reason we put out this convenience store tape now is so that people could get over it because he didn't rob the store. And anyone that sees the exchange that takes place with a conscience, a heart, two minds, and is not a bigot, pretty much understands what happened. Unfortunately, there's some people in America with so much bias inside of them that they just want to think that Michael Brown is a bad guy. But yes, let's talk about the physical no, evidence on, on Canfield. Jason. They think yes. perhaps that Michael Brown is a bad guy because... 40 FBI agents went to Ferguson to investigate yeah. this case yeah. at the behest yeah. of Eric Holder, who showed up almost immediately after it happened. I, I yeah. think it's fair to assume that they really believed that they were going to be able to indict Officer Wilson, that he had acted no, wrongly. No, I don't think that but that's, I don't think that that's, there, I, that's okay, not, that's right, absolutely that out, not then. true. Throw not that true. Out, right, don't look, just say that. No, you're just saying plenty of things. So let me just, Those FBI let me just throw agents, one thing the, the FBI agents went down there. Eric Holder went down there. To indict Darren Wilson? To well, indict I, Darren Wilson? It, no way. Do you know how the system works? These cops get off every single time. Bob McCullough has been the prosecutor for over two decades and for 23 years. Matter, Wait, excuse me. Let me just finish this. Let me just finish this. For 23 years, according to the Washington Post, there has not been a prosecution of a single police shooting in St. Louis County. So you every believe. Single you believe. Hold one on. Of them, now it's my every turn. Single one of them, Back none down. of them are, 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 are indictable. It's my turn. You're, you're, gonna, you're suggesting that 40 FBI agents were all I'm in suggesting the Department to make of Justice sure failed. That, that, that they this did, yeah, person they failed. was they not failed. indicted. Listen to me. They failed. So it's and, and not my possible, film, it's my not film, possible in your fruit. brain that what happened there was, the, was what was found by both a grand jury and no, 40 no, FBI agents. No, you're, you're discounting. No. You're saying all of that doesn't matter. Their yes. investigation is absolutely not true. When my, that when Michael the facts Brown did not reach into out. that when car When the facts of this case, excuse gun. me, miss. Can I speak now? When you the can. facts of this case come out in my film, Stranger Fruit, the real facts of this case, the facts of this case that Bob McCullough doesn't want us talking about, like the fact that Michael Brown was shot in the head and a bullet came out of his eye. Do you know how that would happen? When your head is down the, he, and there's a bullet in the ground, in their report, there's a bullet in the ground by Michael Brown's head. Now, how would a bullet go through here, out of his eye, Look, and then I, get stuck in the ground? What I know is that there was, an, there, was a, there were three different forensic investigations that were done that showed that he was care. shot in the they front. They failed him. Everyone they in the failed. country was told they this narrative failed. that he was shot in the back. They all, that you know he had his hands up men, and said, "Don't shoot." You know how many black men are in jail right now? You know how many black men are in jail right now for nothing, for nothing, because the Department of Justice failed them? You know how many black men are in jail right now? Don't touch, tell me, because they closed the book on it. We're okay. My film will show the public the truth, ma'am. And if you want to know I the truth, know you, you got, should watch it. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know why you got so hung up on what happened, whether he was trading pot or trading or, or stealing something is completely irrelevant to the outcome of this case. Joining me now to respond to this is Bob McCullough, who you just heard mentioned. He's a St. Louis County prosecuting attorney, and I would imagine that he has uh, a response to a very uh, heated Jason Pollack. Good evening, sir. Good to have you here. What do you think? Well, Good evening. I'm happy to be here. Well, he has his facts wrong, not shockingly. There was no bullet in the ground anywhere near Michael Brown. There are three separate medical examiners, including one hired by the Brown family, the Department of Defense, and the St. Louis County Medical Examiner all came to the same conclusion. He's making up facts as he goes along to to push his his film. You know, he's a an amateur filmmaker and and he's just making things up to do that you is look it true at the that entire no police your, officer yeah, has initial, ever been prosecuted for shooting uh an, an unarmed person in in ferguson missouri in ferguson yes and in st louis county i think is what you're asking with that over the years there have been several shootings all have been investigated 
and, and none of them were uh, were indicted. Correct. So he's claiming uh, that the he's claiming that there were that there were underhanded tactics, that things were hidden, that that the, that the story and the investigation that was done by 40 FBI agents, mm -hmm. um, overseen by the Department of Justice right. and the grand jury, that they all were right. in cahoots with you to make sure that that Darren Wilson was never indicted. Uh, you know, I mean, that's just. It, it, listen to what you just said and tell me how silly that is. I, and it really is silly that somehow I have this control over the United States Department of Justice, the Attorney General of the United States, the FBI. Um, it, it, it's just nonsense. And this guy's trying to push his movie, which is made up, makes up the facts on it. You saw the entire, uh, the entire uh, surveillance video from all four angles, unedited. And he's trying to strike a deal with them. Is and there when any fails, legal he, relevance they, they to what the, uh, happened in the? Excuse me for interrupting. No. For, to what happened in the convenience store? No, no, I no, mean, it seems to me that the that the whole no. question begins in the street when these two, Darren Wilson and Michael Brown, confront each other. Correct. Well, it it, it begins there, but it relates back to the incident at the store at about noon on that day because that plays into into this, and and that became relevant to what went on in the street. What happened at 11 o'clock, or I'm sorry, 1 o'clock that morning was both logically and legally irrelevant and immaterial, which is why it was never presented to the grand jury. Um, that's not something I'd ever be able to use in a trial had there been any kind of an indictment coming out of this. So it's not going to be presented to the grand jury. It is documented. This isn't new information. It's documented in the police report, right. the conversation the police had with the employees of the store. Um, the fact that we issued a search warrant so they could get the surveillance video, that they looked at the surveillance video, examined it, documented that, described what's on that video in the police report, all of which was released uh, November 24, 2014. It's all been sitting there, open to the world, open to anybody who wants to look at it, including this fella. Mm -hmm. All right, Bob McCullough, thank you very much. Good to have you here tonight, sir. Oh, my pleasure. Anytime.